not get into the end zone. The next season, the Cowboys were the top seed in the NFC, but they were upset by the Giants as Romo threw an interception in the end zone in the waning seconds. The Cowboys lost by four. In week 17 of the 2008 season, the Cowboys and Eagles squared off for the final playoff spot in the NFC, and it was all Eagles. Romo lost two fumbles and threw an interception. That one wasn't even close. The next season, Romo and the Cowboys would exact revenge on the Eagles in the wild card. Romo threw for over 200 yards and two TDs in the first half alone, and the Cowboys won by 20. But the very next week, they were blasted by Brett Favre and the Vikings. Romo failed to get 200 yards passing. Two fumbles, he threw a pick, and the Vikings beat up the Cowboys 34-3. to And then last season, week 17, just like this time around, the winner take all for the NFC East crown against the Giants. And again, it was a double-digit loss for Dallas. The Giants led 21-0 at the half, and Romo had two second-half turnovers in the loss. It has been feast or famine. We don't call it the Romo coaster for nothing. Uh, we talked about the Redskins. Coach, what about the Cowboys? To me, there's one thing and one thing only. And Rob Ryan was my defensive coordinator. Jerome Henderson was my DB coach. Matt Evans was my linebacker coach. And if I was meeting with him, I'd say no big 